Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Buck Rogers Matrix Cubed. We are just outside a large lab at the south end of the second floor of Purge Headquarters. And I suspect there is going to be a huge battle inside there. We do have all our heavy weapons equipped, so let's go in there and take it on. And if this doesn't work, we will reload from this point and maybe dumb down the difficulty level. You hear Hannibal Seuss' voice, voice to the east. Across the room, a group of scientists are gathered around a wall speaker. Hannibal Seuss' voice issues from it. Dr. Malcolm, this is Seuss. Dot, dot. Commander Hannibal Sooth is now dead. As his sound of legal digital personality, I claim purge leadership. I can't escape our closed circuit computer network. Download my files and release me into computer space. The Neo Invaders are airing now! Destroy them! They finally notice. A scientist speaks. You recognize him as Dr. Jared Malcolm. As you wish, Sooth Dop Dop. Men, attack! Dr. Malcolm begins pulling on armor. Oh, joy. Yeah, he's going to be a second wave of this two-wave battle all by himself. So we've got technician for security robot. Oh, yeah. All, all kinds of fun. But it maybe would be a good idea to s spread people out. Okay. Yep, yeah, that looks good. I know the technicians have bolt rifles, of course! Nasty heavy damage bolt rifles! Okay, well, now we can see where Podcane is. Good. Okay, so it's basically those two and then that group of four. Yeah, these fellows don't have chaff grenades that they conveniently lay down for us, so that's kind of a pain. Oh, great, and it missed! I should maybe... Oh, crap. Okay, I think... We can still attack them. Oh, 
we'll have her switch to her mono sword and start whacking at that robot. And missing the robot. Okay. Needle gun. Ouch. We're surviving this battle, but I know there's going to be a second wave with just Dr. Malcolm. That's going to be the the real deal breaker. Or killer, whatever. Okay, now we just have that robot left. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Those robots can dodge needle gun. Okay, maybe we'll try the heat gun. Rate of fire stinks, but you can't dodge it. Right. This is why you don't just want to have needle guns or bolt guns on you, even if those are the best weapons in most situations. Oh, yeah, so you don't have a chance to re-equip anything. So, we've got him with his explosive heat grenades, which act a lot like a plasma thrower probably have a and a purge security robot and a combat robot so I think probably what we want to do is to spread out and maybe lay down some chaff directly on top of Dr. Malcolm. Yes, she still has her grenade launcher equipped, so even if she weren't close enough. Okay. I mean, it would be nice if we could take them out quickly with our own explosive grenades and rocket launchers, but yeah, you know, we've had no time to re-equip them after the first wave. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Good lord, look at that. Yeah. You know, I I never have used Podkane's Intimidate ability in battle. Yeah, much as I hate to do it, we're going to try to ignore that little purge security robot for now. And concentrate our fire on Dr. Malcolm and the combat robot. And just keep laying down chaff. Especially laying down chaff on Dr. Dr. Malkin and the combat robot. so that they'd harm themselves if they tried to use their Mass Effect weapons. Okay. Would you believe he actually used up all the charges in that needle gun of his? Well, we can switch to his bolt rifle, I guess. Okay, and he has a at least one attack left, so let's We'll have him switch to his mono sword and start whacking at the bad doctor here.
Oh. Time to lay down some more chaff. Uh, yeah. I really don't want to get hit by any of his explosive heat grenades. Ooh! She got a backstab on it. Wow. Okay, now we need to switch to something other than the needle gun to take on the security robot because that can dodge needle gun darts. Yeah, I've I've tried doing this without using chaff grenades before and believe me it is brutal. It's very nearly brutal even without even with chaff grenades. But without chaff grenades. Ugh. Without chaff grenades, I would have had to dumb down the difficulty. Hey! We survived! Amazing! Nobody got killed! A lot of healing. And now we finally get to divvy up all the loot. Which is basically just the stuff that Dr. Malkin had. Mercurian battle armor with fields. Uh, bolt gun. We'll forget that. But 15 explosive heat grenades. So. Who could use better armor? Okay, she's just got ordinary battle armor with fields. So maybe we could. But she's got. Still has a very good armor class. So maybe what we could do would be to have one of the other characters give their Martian battle armor with fields to her, and then she can equip that, and then they can have the Mercurian battle armor with fields. And who's got room for explosive heat grenades? Well... Let's get the heavy weapons re-equipped. <sighs> if we have to, we might ditch the microwave guns. Or something.
There we go. Yeah, everybody's got a lot of other good stuff uh, that we'd like to take with us, but we can't. Not all of it. Okay, well, okay, we're going to need to have Posey to drop something so she has room to accept. the nice armor. Maybe the microwave gun. Then Scotty can unequip his Martian battle armor, trade that to Hosita, And then let's quick give him the Mercurian battle armor with fields. Oh, much better. Then Hosita can switch from her plain battle armor with fields to the Martian battle armor with fields. Probably drop that plain battle armor with fields. And then let's see who's got who's using grenades instead of a rocket launcher. He is. And he is. And she is. Yeah, let's have him dump something. Maybe maybe he can give the poison antidotes to Hosita. Which doesn't lighten his encumbrance that much, but Yeah, we can switch things around a bit later on. But I think that pretty much takes care of that. So, wow. No, we don't need, we don't need a, a bolt gun with no ammo in it. Oh, but this is not the end of the level yet. Remember, Dr. S yeah, Sooth.dop is still in the computer and they're trying to download him into cyberspace. Would you believe we spent the entire episode on that stupid battle? <laughs> so, when we come back, we will go to the computer and try to get rid of Sooth.dop. And then we will finally be done with Purge HQ. And then we'll see if there's anything else we can do in Los Angeles. So we will see you then.